the knowledge of development of teeth and their eruption into the oral cavity is important not only for the clinicians but also in forensics demographics anthropology paleontology etc therefore it becomes very important to memorize the chronology of both primary and the permanent teeth in this video we have made an attempt to make it simple for you to memorize the chronology of permanent teeth by certain tips and tricks that will help you to learn in a better way watch the video till the end to understand it well <music> we at dentarize welcome you all to a platform where we help you to conceptualize visualize and memorize dentistry starting with the chronology of permanent teeth we have to remember two thumb rules thumb rule number 1 mandibular teeth erupt earlier than the maxillary teeth thumb rule number 2 the first permanent tooth to erupt into the oral cavity is the first molar Combining these two thumb rules we can conclude that the mandibular first molar is the first permanent tooth to erupt into the oral cavity this occurs at 6 to 7 years of age now try visualizing it at 6 to 7 years of age the mandibular first molar starts erupting at this same age group after the mandibular first molar starts erupting the maxillary first molar also starts erupting at this age group of 6 to 7 years meanwhile the mandibular first molar and the maxillary first molar are taking their position the mandibular central incisor also starts erupting at this same age group of 6 to 7 years therefore we have three teeth erupting at 6 to 7 years of age these are the mandibular first molar the maxillary first molar and then the mandibular central incisor after the mandibular central incisor its maxillary counterpart that is the maxillary central incisor will also start erupting this occurs in the next age group of 7 to 8 years meanwhile when the maxillary central incisor is erupting the mandibular lateral incisor will also start erupting in this same age group therefore we have two teeth erupting in the age group of 7 to 8 years that is the maxillary central incisor and then the mandibular lateral incisor after the mandibular lateral incisor its maxillary counterpart that is the maxillary lateral incisor will erupt at the age group of 8 to 9 years you can observe that the maxillary teeth are erupting at an age one year later than the mandibular teeth this is how you are going to remember this chronology by now we have discussed the eruption timings of the first molars the central incisors and the lateral incisors where we observed that the mandibular teeth were erupting earlier and then their maxillary counterparts were erupting the next tooth that erupts into the oral cavity is the mandibular canine which erupts in the next age group of 9 to 10 years this was simple till now however the maxillary canine does not erupt immediately after the mandibular canine there is a time lag after the mandibular canine the mandibular first premolar will erupt and that too in the next age group of 10 to 12 years of age now memorizing the age of eruption of premolars becomes a little tricky because all the four premolars erupt in between the age of 10 to 12 years grossly we can memorize that all the four premolars will erupt into the oral cavity by the age of 12 years however when it comes to theory we have to memorize the exact age group now keeping our focus only on the mandibular premolars first if we closely observe we will see that we have 12 in common in the age of eruptions of the first premolar and the second premolar therefore the first premolar erupts in between the age of 10 to 12 years and the second premolar erupts in between the age of 11 to 12 years so we have two age groups 10 to 12 years and 11 to 12 years if we focus particularly on the maxillary premolars observe closely and we will see that we have 10 in common therefore the maxillary first premolar erupts in between the age of 10 to 11 years and the maxillary second premolar erupts in between the age of 10 to 12 years this is little tricky to memorize 
but grossly you can remember that maxillary and the mandibular premolars erupt in between the age of 10 to 12 years in the mandibular teeth we have 12 in common and in the maxillary teeth we have 10 in common and then you can make the age groups accordingly now if we try to visualize the entire situation we have the first molars in position both the maxilla and the mandible we have the central incisors in position both the maxilla and the mandible we have both the lateral incisors in position as well we have both the premolars both the maxilla and the mandible in position however we have just the mandibular canine in position and the maxillary canine is still remaining after the maxillary first premolar and the second premolar gets erupted into the oral cavity the maxillary canine erupts at the age group of 11 to 12 years this time lag is to make sure that after the canine erupts into the oral cavity the entire maxillary arch gets reinforced into a proper shape now the things are easy after the maxillary canine gets erupted into the oral cavity the mandibular second molar will start erupting in the age group of 11 to 13 years followed by the maxillary second molar erupting in the similar age group of 12 to 13 years after the second molars get erupted into the oral cavity the third molars both the mandibular and the maxilla will get erupted in the age group of 17 to 21 years and this age of eruption varies in person to person summarizing what we have read so far the first teeth to erupt into the oral cavity is the mandibular first molar which erupts at 6 to 7 years of age in the same age group the maxillary first molar and the mandibular central incisor also erupt in the next age group of 7 to 8 years the maxillary central incisor and the mandibular lateral incisor erupt in the next age group of 8 to 9 years the maxillary lateral incisor erupt in the next age group of 9 to 10 years the mandibular canine erupts however after the mandibular canine maxillary canine does not erupt the eruption of mandibular canine is followed by the eruption of mandibular first and second premolar and then the maxillary first and second premolar all the four premolars erupt in the age group of 10 to 12 years then after the premolars the maxillary canine erupts at the age of 11 to 12 years this is followed by the eruption of mandibular second molar and then the maxillary second molar at an age group of 12 to 13 years after this the mandibular third molar and the maxillary third molars erupt at an age group of 17 to 21 years so this was all about the chronology that is the age of eruption of permanent teeth hope the video was helpful for you it won't be easy for you to memorize this entire thing in one go but if you watch the video again and again and if you try to visualize the entire thing it will be easy for you to remember if you like our content please do not forget to like share and subscribe to our channel hit the bell icon so that you can get notified whenever we upload a new video suggestions are always welcome from your side stay tuned stay safe thank you for watching